Guy. Yes. We're here in Venice. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, uh, I'm a musician, so I've lived almost everywhere in the United States except for California. And the last two years up in Montana, well, the last year we had wildfires. The whole place is ringed by mountains. The mountains were on fire yeah. all summer long, and it was just like suffocating smoke. Then it went from that to freezing rain, and then I got evicted out of my uh, apartment for supposedly playing my guitar too loud. And um, I just said, you know, I'm going to get on the Amtrak, and it goes all the way to L.A., and we're going to check out L.A. and see what it's all about, you know. So here I am. Oh, my God. Yeah. And that was a year ago. Yeah, that was a year ago. And you're telling me you're disabled and can't work. Yeah, I have a laundry list of, you know, fortunately, none, not one is totally life-threatening, but when it's all put together, it adds up to a, you know, and I'm 61 now, and I don't have quite the energy that I had when I was, you know, in my 20s or 30s or whatever, so. But you get a disability check, so that helps. Yes, yes, I do. It helps immensely, you know. Otherwise, I don't know what, I mean, you know, so. But it's still not enough for housing. No, it's not. I mean, you can maybe find a, you know, yeah, it's 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 oh, not. Oh no, enough. you can't find anything. <laughs> yeah, here. yeah. No, they, there's I know. nothing here. Right. Yeah. Actually, it's like even across the USA, you better have at least seven hundred bucks, at least. Or even more. In, yeah. more, you know, that's that's just. I mean, so. I don't know. I'm sure there's places that are cheaper, but I don't know about no, them. It's, it's bad yeah. everywhere. It's yeah. bad everywhere. Right. But you're saying you don't have ID? No. I have a birth certificate. I have my medical records. I have my bank card. I have uh, prescriptions. But it's if I want if, if I wanted to leave town, um, I couldn't because I don't have... you got to have a hard ID to do anything these days. Yeah. And I think it's a little cra uh, ridiculous that, you know, people are complaining about homeless people here and homeless people there. Well, some of us don't have I IDs and can't even leave town if we wanted to, yeah. you know. So, I, you know. Well, it, now, no ID just hurts in many ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, there's so much that you can't do. I don't think you can. Are, are you, is any of the homeless services helping you? I've been to St. Joe's five times now. The last time was, uh, it was fr Friday. I went there on a Thursday, got up, went to St. Joe's, and uh, the guy said, come back tomorrow, we're not, we're not doing orientation today. So I come back the next day, and they said, we're not doing it today. And I'm, I'm looking at him, I go, Brother, you just told me to come back today, yesterday. This yeah. is the same guy. He's, he's kind of laughing. He's kind of chuckling about it. Like, you know, well, so, St. Joe's is one of the better places. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what they're... The bottom line... See, but you shouldn't get that runaround. The bottom line, yeah. Well, that that's just, you know, administrative problem there or whatever. But, I mean, what does it take... For, all right, I have a valid Montana ID, right? No, I don't have it. That got stolen along with my birth certificate and social security, all, everything got stolen. Stolen while you're here? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, it's like, to me, it's a little strange that they can pinpoint you via your cell phone within two feet by GPS as to where you're at, but yet they can't get into the open government issue picture thing from Montana say yeah this is this is a dude yeah. he's I, I, I got a replacement uh, birth certificate but yeah this is this is the guy right here let's print him out something he he's a homeless guy and he wants to leave town and we all want that well you should ask st. Joseph yeah. man don't don't keep going back it's a good I, place. I am I'm and they'll help you get an ID they good I hope so they will. I, I sometimes you you get in one of these things and you just have to like beat a dead horse man. oh no it's that's like, the only way to know. survive homelessness is you mm. know I, I see when the system is so broken 
Mm -hmm. You know how they say the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Right, yeah. And I hate to tell people that, but you just have to keep knocking and knocking and screaming and screaming. Oh, yeah. Because we don't make it easy for somebody to get on a homeless. I know. I know. Yeah, you know. I mean, something has got to be done. This is a nationwide problem. There's also a huge problem with mental illness. I don't know. There needs to be literally a walk-in clinic where... Now, I'm not saying that the police should force someone to go to a mental health clinic, but maybe suggest it. And then if, and then if they, they're still running around crazy, if they're constantly running around crazy, then something probably has to be done with them. Yeah. And there's a lot of mental illness out here. Yeah, it's, it's... And there's no help for the people that want it. No, there's not. I mean, me, myself, I have a sleeping disorder, and this is no... I lost my, when I got my ID, my medication got stolen. I slept 10 hours in two months. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, their sleep deprivation is huge out here. People don't understand. Because you fall asleep, you're vulnerable, you get your stuff stolen. Well, yeah. And I, this has never happened before, but I mean, I, I, it's like the most torturous thing that I've ever gone through. But I couldn't get my medicine because it's really expensive. And so... One night, I got up, packed my stuff up, and went sleepwalking. Uh -huh. And they found me out on rows. And I'm like miles away, and I don't know exactly what happened, but the cops brought me back to, I was sleeping with a couple other guys, and they said, do you know this guy? And they, and they said, yeah. And they said, okay, <laughs> so they let me oh out, you gosh. know. Yeah. But I mean, you know. So what's your future like? Um, actually, it's not looking all that bad right now. Um, I do have a band put together, um, and I'm working on uh, getting places to play. Um, I have had a certain amount of success in my life with uh, the music I've played with. Now, what uh, instrument do you play? I play guitar and sing. Awesome. And uh, I have, I used to play with Jimi Hendrix's drummer. His name is Buddy Miles. He's from Omaha, Nebraska, so that's how I know him. And then I've I backed up Black Sabbath and Blue Oyster Cult and Judas Priest and all that stuff. So it's been, you know, hey, I'm, I'm not a mega uh, rich rock star, but that was never my goal in the, in the end in the first place. I just wanted to be able to play really good music, you know, and get paid and have yeah. a good time, you know. I used to make my living playing music. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. back in the day. Well, I just purchased a, uh, this killer amplifier. It's where do you portable. keep your gear? Well, that's, I have a friend that's got a car, but this this is what I'm thinking about right now, because I'm gonna, I have to pick up this amp in a day or two, and I'm figuring out how am I gonna tote it around. Um, but I've got several different ideas on that, you know. Good thing about it is, when I was up in Montana, I, I was by myself in, in my room, by myself for all day long, but I have, I really actually have a lot of friends and acquaintances here. I mean, a lot of them, it's like yeah. they're all over the place, you know. Yeah. And and that's really nice, because I'm, I'm not involved with a, in a relationship or anything like that. So it's, it's nice to have some guys that you can hang out with yeah. and shoot the bull and what have you. Yeah, it's tangible social interaction, <laughs> it's so important. Yeah, it is, it really is. I mean, geez. So if you had three wishes, what would they be? Um. If I had three wishes, I wish for number one, there would people would. I'm not saying turn your life over to God or or go Bible thumping whatever, but I wish they would pay a little bit of attention to the Ten Commandments. You know, we could do with a little less stealing, a little less, you know, of 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 all of the things. I mean, can you imagine what kind of a world? LA would be if you could leave your bag sitting somewhere on the beach at, or anywhere if you could do that and not worry about it being stolen right. you know imagine that kind of world now that right. sounds like a good deal to me yeah but uh wish number two wish number two uh I hope for peace and prosperity for all my brothers and sisters awesome yeah I'll take it, some of that <laughs> I'll take some of that. Yeah. And wish number three. Wish number three. Uh, 
boy. Um, I wish, wish number three, I wish that wish one and wish two would actually come true. How's that sound? Uh, right, <laughs> but you didn't wish anything for yourself. Well, I've been told in so many words, I mean, I've had that God's not a big fan of selfish people <laughs> oh from what I from what I've been told now I'm not gonna go into details about that because you'll think uh, I'm stone I, cold crazy I agree I've been told the same thing and I agree with you <laughs> well guy thank you very much for talking to me hey it was my pleasure